I'm going to show you how to make a team randomizer in Roblox. All right, let me just test the game here, and I'll show you exactly what I mean by that. So, it's loading. All right, so I'm on the blue team, as you see. And let me play the game once more. And I'm on the blue again. <laughs> let me try one more time, see if it randomizes. There we go, yellow team. So, as you see, I got a randomizer. And I'm going to show you how to make this. Let's start right now. Alright, so guys, what we need to do to make this is obviously insert a script into server script service. I got the script already. Um, we're going to start a new one. And just clear out. And I'm going to do it the form script I have. Okay, so let's go. I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see. And let's begin. So. Start by, uh, you know what? I forgot one thing before we start scripting, guys. I my apologies. First, you got to obviously insert the teams here. Uh, so you see that I have four teams in the team service already. Make sure you do that. Make sure you insert four teams uh, by clicking the plus sign and add a team, and then you can customize it, give it a color, and make sure auto assignable is off for all of them. That is uh, very important. So it does not automatically assign you to the team. So make sure you have four teams, or as many teams as you like. And just name them. Make sure auto assignable is off right here. It's property. And um, yeah, make sure they're different names too. But yeah, so let's head into the script. We're going to start by local team or uh, equals game get service teams. Then we're going to say colon get children. Uh, teams. Yeah. Alright, team. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Alright, so. We're just getting the team. We're just getting the uh, the children of the team's folder. That's all we're doing with this line. And um, I expect you guys to have some knowledge of scripting, but it's okay if you don't understand what this does. Um... So yeah, that's just a brief, brief explanation. Let's keep going. So game dot players, a player added, connect function. All right. Very simple. All this does, it uh, this runs when a player joins the game. That's all it does, guys. It's all it does. All right. So just want you to understand what this does. So. When a player joins the game, this function will run. So now we're going to do a for loop. For i player in pairs game dot players get players do. Alright, so now we're just going to loop through all the players in the game. And we're going to see um, all the players in the game with this for loop. So now we got all the players in the game, in the player service. So, now, let's make a check. If player then, all this does, guys, is check if the player actually exists. That's all it does. Check if player exists, because if they don't exist and we continue, uh, it could cause an error. So just put that there. You know, let's just keep going. I want to get this done for you guys. Hope you guys, I hope this tutorial helped you guys. So let's continue. All right, so play if player dot team is equal to nil then nil is nothing nil means nothing nil means nothing basically nothing it doesn't it's not equal to anything so player is not on a team right now so we got to assign them a team we're gonna start by doing local a variable local random team equals uh, teams, math.random, teams, okay, so, we're just picking, uh, or I'll do team, or teams, you want, let me add one S, make sure you, yeah, I'm just gonna change, alright, so there we go, so teams, 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 alright, we got, uh, we're just gonna take one, ma uh, team from the folder, randomly, alright, so we're gonna continue, and there's only one more thing we gotta do. Player.team is equal to random team. And we're done. Oops. We're done. There we go. Time for testing. 
I believe so. Um, yeah. Let's test it. And one more thing I'm going to do here. I'm going to print my the team that I on. So, player.name, dot, dot, was selected for, dot, dot, random team, dot, name. So, this line will just print out the team that I will be chosen on. You don't have to write this. It's optional because I'm just printing it out to the output. And we're going to play it right now. So let's see if this works. Let's see. It says Gopek was chosen for green right there. And I was chosen for green. I'm on the green team, guys. How cool is that? Alright, so let me do it again. This is let's see if it's random. This is where everything matters. It says red, so it is random for sure. Alright, guys, so that's the tutorial. Um very simple. Very basic too. If you want me to implement this with my uh, map choosing script, please comment that below. And if you made it this far, hit the like. If we get maybe, I'll say 5 likes, 10 likes, anywhere between that, I will definitely consider doing a a more in-depth tutorial on the, how to, with the random uh, teams. Like how you can make like a, a map chooser and add the random team select uh, chooser so you can put ran players on random teams and it's that I'm sure that would be real cool for you guys so that's all I got for this video guys comment if you enjoyed comment if I helped you I hope I helped you and yeah thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys later and peace out